Santa Monica's Committee for Racial Justice has a problem. For the first time in its six-year history, people who disagree with the committee's teachings have been showing up to the meetings. You just want to erase all white people. Last month, five people showed up. Two from the conservative online media site called The Red Elephants, and three from a group that calls themselves The Beach Goys. But this month, it was 50. And things got out of hand quickly. Blue Lives Matter! Blue Lives Matter! David Finer is a representative from the Red Elephants, and he's one of only two people with a dissenting opinion that showed up at both of these meetings. You want reparations? They already got their 40 acres and a donkey. What are you talking about? Michelle Wittig is the woman in this video captured by another attendee that night. After listening to the masked men make anti-Semitic comments throughout the meeting, even writing a sign that said, Dagoyim no, Wittig had had enough. I have 16 years of Catholic schooling, and tonight I am a Jew! I am a Jew! Wittig says that she stood up that night to act as an ally to Jewish people all over, though she herself is not Jewish. I was uh, saying it in the moment as a way to be an ally. She believes the entire purpose of these new attendees is simply to disrupt. If they come in and start disrupting and they get, quote, shut down, then that just plays right into their script, which is, oh, all we have is different opinions. Why would you shut us down? Even though David Finer from the Red Elephant said that they aren't connected to the Beach Goys. I'm not with them. I don't agree with everything they're saying. The founder of the Red Elephants, Vincent James, seemed to be pretty familiar with the masked men in a follow-up video he posted online. Jobs. <laughs> That guy was laughing that they said job. Most of these guys, actually, some of them graduated from Harvard, uh, from what I know, and uh, some of them own, own actual successful businesses. Feiner also said that they do share some similar beliefs. Yeah, because Jews aren't white, but then they act white. Or they, they pretend to be white until you call them out, and then they're like, oh, I'm a Jew. We reached out to the Beach Boys for comment, but were unsuccessful in tracking them down. But at this past month's meeting, a number of people were representatives or friends of the Red Elephants. James told us about a mass text that he sent. Posted on your Twitter? I didn't even post it on anything. Oh, okay. I just text messages. Text messaged it. Okay. Steering committee member Bob Gord says they're working on a way to keep things more safe for everyone involved, but that it's a work in progress. We have been doing some consulting with legal experts. Gord also said the point of the meetings is communication and education, and that their main focus is not on debate. We're not especially interested in having debates. Uh, um, we're not starting from a point of, you know, it's debatable whether racism is good or not. Uh, we, we're dedicated to reducing racism. But Feiner says the committee just doesn't want to hear what they have to say. I'd say the left for sure. They just are very intolerant. They don't like people that disagree with them at all. And Gord says they have no problem listening. If people come and want to speak, even if they disagree with us, that's not really a problem. The problem would be if they interrupt other people who are speaking, if they make it difficult to have, uh, you know, a a civil discussion. Finer says regardless, they'll be back. Yeah, I'll go to the next one. For the Santa Monica Mirror, this is Chella reporting. Fake news, right? She's Santa Monica Mirror, fake news. Oh, fake news.